Hi there, my name is Donna Kozik. I am the lead editor for the Community Book Project celebrating 365 days of gratitude. And I'm excited to introduce you to one of our contributors today, Lisa McGrath. And Lisa's gonna be sharing her entry that appears on June 23rd. And uh, Lisa, so good to have you here. Tell us a little bit about how this entry came about and then uh, you can go ahead and share it with us. Thank you, Donna. I am so excited to be a part of this project once again this year. Um, I love the community book projects. Well, my story is about my Camino de Santiago adventure, and that's the northern trek across Spain. And so I learned a lot of lessons on the Camino, which is really the foundation of my coaching practice. And I realized that we have more in common than what separates us. And so someone has probably walked the path before you. So if you're up against any type of um, major life event, you're not alone. Someone's been there, done that. And so we really do have more in common and we can help one another because we're better together. So, so this is a, a story about um, one day on the Camino. So my quote is from Anne Morrow Lindbergh and it says, one can never, pay gratitude one can only pay in kind somewhere else in life my feet were bruised blistered and raw my backpack hung low across my back this wasn't my first camino it's after five my walking partner shared and we have to find a room i couldn't take another step i think we're in the wrong place I looked at the address. Let's go into this hotel and ask the concierge. We entered the, lo the lobby. The concierge took one look at us and answered my friend Linda in English. No, this is not where you're supposed to be. We explained our predicament. I found him staring at me. I am a pilgrim too. I know your pain. Yes, pain. Besides the pain in my body, I was tired, hungry, and thirsty. I smiled back. Please follow me. I will bring you something. Then I will take you to a room across the way. It isn't much, but it has two clean beds and a washroom in the hall. It's a quiet place to rest. He sat us away from the other diners. He brought us wine and a platter of cheese, chorizo, and bread. Later, he grabbed my backpack and we followed him. Tears filled my eyes and I realized I would never forget his generosity. That is beautiful, beautiful. And uh, what I just love about that, again, is the scene that you set using simple words and dialogue. And by simple, I mean elegant, not elementary. And um, just really, really well done in uh, 200 words. So congratulations, Lisa. And uh, why don't you share with us a little bit about where people can connect with you? Well, thank you. Um, I can be found at www.lisamcgrath.me. Um, I'm a coach and I help women who feel like they're at a crossroads in their lives. They've been up against some major event and I help them pivot. I help them see that again, we have more in common than what separates us and together we're better. We are indeed. So thank you, Donna. Absolutely. Thank you, Lisa. And let's let the rest of the contributors who are here give you a round of applause too. Thank you so much, Lisa, and the contributors for being here and being part of the Community Book Project celebrating 365 Days of Gratitude. You can find our book on Amazon in both soft cover and Kindle editions. If you would like to connect with one of the contributors, you can check out meetourauthors.com where they are all listed along with their contact information. And then of course, if you would like to take part in the Community Book Project, we have an interest list that you can join at thecommunitybookproject.com.